Good afternoon. In the kitchen again, nothing unusual there. Um, today I'm doing some wild game casserole. So I've got this slow cooker here with pressure cooker, slow cooker, and it's got a functionality for browning as well. So in there I've got um, some homemade, home cured uh, smoked streaky bacon. I got some venison, mallard, uh, partridge, and pheasant. And in into that, then I'll be adding some um, carrot, parsnip, swede, onions, leeks. I got some mushrooms there, and I got some herbs. I got some some garlic, bay, thyme, and some rosemary. And that's that's going to go in in with it. Uh, game, excellent source of protein. Better than your factory farmed pork and shit that you get from your supermarket. If you can get game, if you know someone who can get it, and you've got no qualms about eating it, and I don't, it's the best meat you can eat. You know exactly what you're getting. So, like I say, we've got the, the venison, partridge, pheasant, mallard, and some homemade uh, streaky bacon. That's, that's browned off in there. And I've got the, the veg that I've done. Like I say, um, carrots, parsnip, swede, onion, leek, that'll all go in, give that a mix in with all of that, in with the garlic, in with the herbs, with your bay, give it a rip, that'll release those essential oils in there, with your herbs, Stav's already messaged me this morning, mate, about them. Um, he's making cowl later, and he was asking about stock. He cooked the chicken yesterday, and he said, I got the carcass. Do I put that in with the stock cube? And I said, no. All you do, which is exactly what I've got here, when I prepared earlier. Whenever I cook a chicken, I keep the carcasses and make stock with them, make bone broth. Nine times out of ten, I just drink that as is. That has got so many health benefits to it. Collagen, amazing for your joints. Forget all of these stuff you buy over the counter. <laughs> yeah, he, he likes a bit of a bit of a kip. So, like I said. This is bone broth that I made, and it's, I froze it. It's concentrated, so I can put that in. That goes in, and that's got all the goodness, all the nutrients. From the, the carcass, I've already seasoned it with uh, some salt and pepper. The herbs I put in from the garden, bay, thyme, rosemary, and a little bit of chervil, all go really well with game. And that's the, uh, the homemade stock in with it. I put a post up earlier about seeing so much about diets at this time of year. Um, and you've got all of these slim fast plans and Cambridge diets and this forever living C9, C15. It's all bollocks. The only diet you need is to eat whole nutrient dense foods. Eat the foods that our grandparents used to eat. 
if it comes in a box or a tin or a packet and it's got a list of 30 ingredients, don't eat it. That's the ingredients. A vegetable doesn't come with an ingredient list. It is the ingredient. That meat doesn't come with an ingredient list. That meat is 100% meat. If you pick up a chicken in a supermarket, you pick up a chicken breast in a supermarket and it'll say 78% chicken. What the fuck? 78% chicken? What's the other fucking 22% then? It's additives, preservatives. That chicken goes along a conveyor belt and it gets pumped, pumped full of crap. It'll, be, it'll have water added to make it bulk out but so that that water doesn't leach out straight away as soon as you put it in a pan, chemicals and additives are added to that, so it makes like a gel. And that's what bulks out your chicken. So when you buy what you think is a bargain chicken in a supermarket, and it's that big, it's pumped full of crap. Spend a little bit extra, buy better, but eat less. I go direct to the farmers markets, direct to the farmers, and people say, oh, all right, this, that's all right for you. You live in the fucking middle of nowhere. You live in the country. The farm shop where I buy all my beef from, from the cauldron to that farm shop is 15 minutes. And the beef there is grass-fed beef. No preservatives, no grain, not pumped full of crap. You know what you're getting. Pork, the pork I get is from just outside Abergavenny. Again, that lives free range, all thing. When you pick up a piece of pork in a supermarket and it says outdoor bread, all that means is Mr. Boar has come along, jumped on the back of the old sow, give it a go into. They can then say that that's an outdoor bread pig. She, that, that sow is then taken in, into a barn, and that's, that's it. Outdoor reared, Mr. Boar comes along, has a go on Mrs. Sow. Those piglets are then born and reared for a very short time outdoors. Then they go indoors. I won't even go into factory farm pork. If you've got an hour and you're interested, there's a film called Pig business. It'll open your eyes to the intensity that pork is is now. I won't say farmed because it's factory made. There's pork factories, and they're, they're like just huge multi-story car parks. The the animals are on concrete slats. They don't see daylight. They're pumped full of antibiotics. They're pumped full of growth hormones. And that's their life. Up until about two years ago, the big supermarkets, crafty fuckers as they are, they would rear the pork in these factories in Poland and wherever else. The animal would be slaughtered, brought back to the UK, and as a place at Merthyr, a finishing place, where that meat would then be cut, jointed, turned into your hams, your bacons, and all the rest of it. They could then label that as British. Because it was finished and cut up in Britain, it was labelled British. And then you've got all of these fake farms that the supermarkets got. Picture of a chicken and so-and-so Oakenfeld farm. Farm don't exist. It's just a market employee. So that... When you go in, the consumer's eye sees the pretty picture and thinks, oh yeah, that, that's fam. Yeah, I'll have that. Bullshit. The best thing to do, shop local, support your local farmers, your farmers markets. Usk Farmers Market, first and third Saturdays of the month. Brilliant little farmers market. You can get all your meat, your veg, everything from there. And those people will tell you what to do with those bits of meat. Buy the cheaper cuts of meat. The belly pork, the breast of lamb, the shoulder of lamb. Shoulder of lamb, much better than a leg of lamb. Cooked slow, rosemary, garlic, 
amazing. Bring it in the oven, 120, 130, forget about it. Go off, do what you're doing for the rest of the day. Like I said, I got the game in here now. That's in uh, on now for slow cook. Be in there now for six, seven hours. The stock was what I made before. I just have. Um, and it's better. You buy a stock cube. It's going to be high in salt. It's going to have colorings, additives, preservatives. Chicken carcass. Get your carcass. Strip off the meat. Put it to one side. Get the carcass. Put it in a pot. Break it up. Put in two or three teaspoons of apple cider vinegar. Cover it with water. Bring that up to the boil and then reduce it to a rolling simmer, as they call it. So it's just bubbling away. You can then add onion, carrot, herbs and spices you want. So you can add in bay. Well, we know that. We know that stuff. So that's stock. Carcass broke up, pot, covered in water, brought to the boil, reduced down to a rolling simmer, onion, carrots, bay, go in with that, and then that's, that is the old chicken soup. You then take that out, take out the carcass, take off the bits of meat that have been left on there, Put in um, the, ch the chicken that you've got. Put the veg back in and you've got the most amazing chicken soup you will ever have. And it's full of nutrients, vitamins, minerals. You've got collagen from the bone, which is beneficial for your skin, your joints and all the rest of it. Your potassium, magnesium, all of these, your electrolytes. That if you're energetic, and at this time of year with people going on diets, um, the first thing they lose will be will be waters and, and liquids. And with that goes the electrolytes. So when you're having your, your, your broth like that, you're replacing them. And it's, you know that there's no preservatives, additives, chemicals, or any of that shit in there. You know that you, all you're eating is pure goodness. Anyway, I've rambled on. So that's my game casserole in there. Um, I was going to chuck some mushrooms in, wasn't I? That's all I do. Some nice chestnut mushrooms here. Bring them in. Nice and juicy. Adds to the meatiness. Give my stir. Lid on. And slow cook. If you haven't got a slow cooker, I highly recommend getting one. Um, the one I've got here is it's a combination between a pressure cooker and a slow cooker. Um, costs a little bit more than a normal slow cooker, but you've got far more functionality. I mean, I can do um, a stew in there on the pressure cooker setting, 20 minutes. So, I could do put that on there on the, on the stew, and in 20 minutes, that would be done. But I'm putting it on a slow cook. And you, you can do soups in here. It's got a steaming function. Uh, so it's got a tray, you can do rice and all the rest of it. Like I say, it costs a little bit more than a normal pressure cooker, uh, normal slow cooker, but well worth it. Far more benefits. And for doing your, your, your stock and your broth, amazing. Get two or three chicken carcasses, break them up, chuck them in, fill with the water up to the level, put it on a pressure setting, put it on soup, and in 20 minutes, that has produced the most amazing chicken stock. Uh, you can then put it on the slow, 
and just carry it on cooking slowly. You can take it off, take the, the, the lid off and heat and reduce it down so you've got a concentrated stock. But well worth the money. And at this time of year, chuck your stuff in there and off you go rest of your day. Do it the night before, chop it all up, get it all ready, bung it in there. In the morning before you go off to work, click on, done. Forget about it. Beef stew, chicken casseroles, cockle van, curries, uh, all of it in a slow cooker. Enjoy your day, people. I'll be back later. I'm off for a walk. I don't know where I'm going to go yet. Probably up the canal in the woods in my happy place. Enjoy your day, people. Love you all.